Everybody and welcome back to the Minecraft Arena YouTube channel. Before we get into the video, I hope you enjoyed that little skit that I made. That is not what the PVZ game mode looks like, but I thought of the idea. It was fun to make, and I haven't edited it quite yet, but I can imagine it's going to be fun to edit. You guys may be wondering, hey, didn't you say the PVZ um, guide would be coming out towards the December update? Yes, but... I decided to start working on the December update early. This is the sign and the mini sign back there. I probably won't show you much else, but all you'll know for now are the two new signs and that the mustaches are sadly gone. And I'll show you Mario. Pretty cool. But that's all I'm giving you for this update. All the information for the upcoming update should be a video on... Sunday or Saturday? I know for definitely 100%, I'm going to finish the update tomorrow or tonight very late. But I don't feel like double uploading today, so... Anyway, today we'll be having a guide on PVZ. Which is a game mode that's um I've been wanting to do for a while now, but never had the chance to. I can't promise you, but hopefully this episode, I can get you guys some gameplay. It's not 100%, but most likely I will. You'll just have to see by the end of the video. I'm gonna have to give you a look at Arena Town and what it looks like. Don't question it, I'll explain it tomorrow or the day after. <clears throat> In Arena Town is where PVZ is located. Yes, I... I was just gonna decorate the map myself, but I sent snow golems out. There you go. That's your little look for now. Anyway. Pledge vs. Zombies is located here in Arena Town. Right here with a zombie on top. Very cool. For nine bricks. But before we, but before we press that button, let's look a little bit at PVZ's history. Because unlike some other games that died where we simply remade them to be the exact same thing... The old PVZ and the new PVZ are quite different. The first iteration of PVZ in Arena came out in the Cloud Update, which has to be, to this day, one of the best updates because all the workers that are still with us right now um, joined then, and a lot of game modes started to be Inspired off of other games. For example, FNAF came out in this update. Donkey Kong also came out in this update. Star Wars Roller Coaster also came out in this update. And PVZ followed. So the Cloud Update was the beginning of the many game modes that are inspired by already existing things. Our first take on PVZ was the classic pvz like the mobile one where you have to defend the house on a tabletop platform you know what i'm talking about yes that gold building's new anyway you would play as crazy dave or whoever you play as in the mobile game it is a one or two player game where you collect well there were no sunflowers. The sunflowers were just there for design. You actually no, the, no, no. Actually, there were sunflowers. I'm trying to remember this. The sunflowers would drop arrows, and you would feed the arrows to the already existing pea shooters. Some some sunflowers would also spawn very rare pistons, which you could use to open the chomper's mouth. The chompers were more used as traps that any helpless zombie could walk into. 
Pea shooters, known as dispensers with a stem, were your main class of defense. Many different zombies, like normal zombies, also they were using spawners, so no one was on the zombie team. There were zombie, um, what's it called? They were normal zombies. Zombie pigmen, which, if you don't hit, they're completely fine. But you have to hit them to complete the game, so... You gotta save them for last. Zombie horses, which are nothing but a distraction, but you have to kill them to move on. And, I think skeleton horses as well. Skeletons, which were used just to throw arrows back at you. Now, you weren't defending anything in this game. You were defending yourself. If the zombies got past your plants, the only other thing you can do is run back and forth trying to avoid the zombies. If the zombie hits you just once, you lose. This sounds like a great concept. Besides the fact that it didn't really work. The zombies were completely fine. That me that whole mechanic with the spawners was perfect. The choppers also worked pretty much fine. The only problem was zombies walked right around them. Sunflowers barely dispensed arrows because we didn't know how to do redstone at the time. And the worst problem of all, dispensers shoot at random. So... It never hit the zombies. Like, ever. The game was basically impossible. But, similar to other impossible games, we left it open. Normally, we would fix impossible games. Like this game, which is physically impossible, and I'm still trying to fix it to this day. Usually, we fix those games... In the next update slash add-on. We were going to do that. But. The arena war occurred. I've brought up the arena war many times. And how it's affected arena. Basically. One of the co-workers just. Were mad. That the other workers came over. I'll, I'll make a video on it next year. Because I don't want to do it this year because I feel like uh, that could start some beef. So I'll do it next year when I know he won't really care. So anyway. Uh, yeah. That co-worker blew up quite a few things. Including Star Wars, in which we rebuilt. But he did explode PVZ. To a crisp. Did you know how long that took us? If I could find a picture on the Xbox app, which I probably can't, you should go on the Xbox app yourself and look at it. PVZ was a huge freaking box, like Cake Wars, but bigger. It had the same type, it, it was basically um, blue sky concrete for walls, but it had that same 2D art style that Desert Battle, I mean, yeah, that Desert Battle did. Like, you know Desert Battle, where, like, around you is a big blue box resembling the sky with pixel art of any things you would see in real life? That's what it was. We had many houses, such good pixel art. We also made lanes with barrier blocks and a road and... It was too much. Now, at this point, we've done more. Way more than that. Like, multiple maps for minigames. But back then, we weren't really that dedicated. So we said, you know what? It was bad anyway. Let's just leave it. However, PVZ, which is right there, by the way, was due for a restart. Ever since, I would say, the next Back in Time update, I've been wanting to bring back Plants vs. Zombies in Arena. 
I didn't want it to be 2D, however. As good as the idea was, we really do need more one-player games, the more that I think about it, but we'll make them later. I wanted PVD to take more of a Garner Warfare style. It was up for discussion for so long that we never got to build it until now. Oh, look, there's PVZ right now. I'm gonna, that's the old PVZ. I'm gonna go fly towards it while I talk to you guys. Um, so you can see what he did to the old PVZ. Yup, that's the old PVZ. Anyway, should we do it like Garden Warfare, Turf Takeover, Team Vanquish? We didn't know what game mode it would be. Should we have multiple game modes? We didn't know at all what we were doing. The only thing we decided on is that there were... That, not they were. The only thing we decided on is that they would definitely be different classes and different characters. That was the only thing we decided on. By the way, this is the OPVZ. Not as big as I expected, but look at that road pixel art. There's a huge house right here. It hurts looking at it, because it took us forever to make this game. Yep, that's the old PVZ. Crazy how a little bit of TNT can do all of that. Anyway, we finally decided that we would mix the Neighborville games, the Garden Warfare games, and the mobile platform games. We decided that the game would basically be the mobile game where you have to where zombies attack and plants defend however we gave it a twist there's only one wave and if the plants kill all the zombies they instantly win we didn't use the garden warfare classes but in fact we did use the neighborville classes and we went off of their abilities even though the zombies have one more character we decided to include Every single one. So the zombies do have an extra character. And that was the way we went with PVZ. Here we got that idea. I established that I was going to wait until the spring update. Because PVZ fits in with spring. It only makes sense. Plants, spring, makes sense. I also thought about waiting until October for the zombie part. But like, nah. In the November update, I was lacking on game modes. So I just made PVZ. <laughs> and that brings us now where PVZ is up better than ever and actually playable. I didn't put as much time as it as we did the first one because I did work on it by myself with the only help of roasted water adding a few extra touches that still matter. But, um, yeah, now PVZ's here, being sold for nine bricks. Now we can get into the gameplay. First, I'm going to go over the game itself. Then the blocks, similar to Brawl and Go, where different blocks do different things. Then the characters, and then the tips and tricks. And then if, I'm saying if, because I'm kind of giving up on the gameplays, but if, I might give you a gameplay. Should be happening, though. Shouldn't be a problem. Press play, and you'll be brought into Plants vs. Zombies. When I said the zombies died, when I said there's only one wave, and after the zombies die, you instantly win, I scrapped that idea. Plants. Protect the house for six minutes, which means if they kill the zombies, they do get to respawn. And if the zombies kill the plants, the plants get to respawn if they don't walk in the house. And then, of course, Zombie's job is to get through the house door. These are all the classes, by the way. It's pretty simple. The plants, there's two for, two, I could have easily added a door, but I didn't want to be lazy. Well, I, I was lazy. I didn't want to be too lazy, so I added command blocks. The plants spawn in the plants area. And that command block would lead underground where the zombies actually come out the grave which is a touch that i didn't need to do but i thought it was necessary 
a Brawl and Go, where different tiles do different things, and pe in Plants vs. Zombies, the type of grass located on the map is different, That they dedicate different things. Once you step on them, they each have different properties. There's only four, unlike Brawl and Go, that has like eight. Basic grass. Traps can be placed here. Traps as in cactuses. Cactuses, any type of firework, um, TNT, which is just an example because TNT explodes are off, and stuff like that. Battle grass, potions, pearls, and blocks can be placed here. Soil grass. If zombies step here, they must retreat to battle. What that means is, of course, I'm going to show you the zombie spawn for this example. Because the zombies are so freaking close to the house, I had to add another distraction for the zombies. That makes it harder for them to get into the house. So I made it so... The zombies have to parkour through here. And now, now, I did actually freeze it wrong. And because of that, I am going to redo the sign and show you the result. But basically, the zombies cannot go in the water. Because in Plantress Zombies, water kills you. So they have to parkour over the grass. I made it easy, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal, but the zombies needed another distraction. So, like, if a plant hits them into the water or something, if they do touch the water, they will have to go back into the battlefield. I reiterated the soil grass. Zombies must jump across. If they hit water, they must retreat. I also put it here. If zombies hit water, they must return to battle grass, in which battle grass looks like this. The final grass, the dad grass. It's supposed to be dead grass. I'm gonna fix that. Okay, dead grass. Zombies spawn there and plants cannot step there. So those are the four blocks. Now we can start to get into the classes. Also, the sand and the trap area. Because I couldn't find many abilities for cactus, I just gave her cactuses. Because why not? The sand, you cannot place cactuses on grass. So I place the sand in the trap grass area. To start with the plants, then go to the zombies, left to right. Pea shooter. Full grass. I mean, not full grass. Full green armor. A lot of the plants that shoot will have bows. And if it's a charge up slash sniper, it, they will have a crossbow. So a lot of them love bows. Potion of Leaping for Hyper. Potion of Swiftness, also for Hyper. It's a mix of Neighborville and Garden Warfare. So it's all the Neighborville characters. But if they're also in Garden Warfare, we will reiterate those abilities as well. Besides Cactus, because I did not give her Walnut, I think. And then Splash Potion of Harming for the Bean Bomb. Chomper, Dragon Head, because it looks like a Chomper. Purple Armor. Netherite Sword. Also, just like Brawl and Go, I didn't give them armor based off of their strength. I gave them armor based off of how they look like. So, if a character has gold or silver, I'm going to be lazy and give them gold or iron armor. Five cobwebs for the spike weeds. And a lingering potion of poison to resemble his goop. In Neighborville, that is. Because you can't really reiterate his Garden Warfare goop. Sunflower, yep, here it is. Full golden armor, splash potion of healing, lingering potion of healing for her two healing abilities, and a bow and arrow. Cactus, creeper head, because it looks like a cactus. Oh, I did give her walnut. Five cactuses, eight terracotta to resemble her walnut, crossbow and potion of arrows of slowness, because why not? I also started to use fireworks, because I can't use TNT, because TNT explodes are off in Arena. I decided to give the characters with explosions rockets, because dyed rockets deal damage, if you did not know. 
if they don't, I'm going to be incredibly disappointed because I spent a lot of work doing this. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. That's cool. Anyway, uh, brown fireworks to resemble potato mines, potion of leaping to resemble cactus's flying ability in Naperville, and a yellow firework to resemble cactus's drones, corn cob strike. Citron, full orange armor, a bow, arrow, shield to resemble his shield, lingering potion of slowness, and potion of swiftness to resemble his ball form. Colonel Corn, a mix of green and yellow, bow, arrow, firework yellow to resemble his butter thing, a shield to resemble his extra ability in Neighborville. Potion of Leaping to resemble his, uh, jump thing. Potion of Harming to resemble his other butter thing. <laughs> Rose, a mix of green and red. Bow, arrow. Lingering Potion of Slowness to resemble her slowness thing, of course. And Swiftness to resemble her arcane igma. Acorn, mix of brown and green. Bow, arrow, firework, brown. Should have made it orange, but it's to resemble his super sap trap. Spruce fence to resemble his his oaks form. Big barricade thing. Also, I'm ignoring mechs and like bigger forms, stuff like that. And splash potion of harming to resemble the super sap trap. Nightcap, mix of purple and pink. Lingering potion of slowness. One minute. Potion of invisibility. Obviously, Nightcap's two abilities. And then Snowballs to resemble Ninja Stars. Uh, I know that Snowballs do not deal damage, but... Whatever. <laughs> I did Nightcap dirty. Snapdragon, a mix of orange, green, and he wields an Elytra to glide around. I was going to give it to Rose, but Rose doesn't really have wings. She just floats, so it makes more sense. Instead of an actual weapon, he gets flint and seal to place fire on the ground. This counts as a weapon and a trap. It's time to make the tree. Potion of leaping to resemble his jump ability. Orange ball to resemble his flare ball thing. And a potion of harming to... Uh, I think his blue fire thing. I just want to say sorry in advance if the uh, plants aren't exactly the same because when I went to go walk my dog, my little sister took the controller and broke the plant barrels and made that hole over there. So I had to place both of them. So I had to place some of them in their correct spots, re add signs, and kernel corn I had to completely redo. So. Anyway, moving on to the zombies. Foot Soldier, Full Green, Bow, and Arrow. Splash Potion of Harming for the ZPG, and Leaping for his Rocket Jump. All Star, Full Red, Bow, Arrow, Red Concrete to resemble his little, um, dummies. Splash Potion of Harming to resemble his Imp, and Potion of Swiftness to resemble his Tackle. Yes, I spelled Scientist wrong. Zombie head, because why not? Iron armor. Ender pearls to resemble his teleport. Splash potion of healing. Lingering potion of healing. Bow and arrow. Engineer. Doesn't have a weapon? Ah. Uh, okay. Golden armor. Lingering potion of slowness. Potion of swiftness. And a red firework. Hold on, I'm gonna give him a bow real quick. And on the plants team, we have Wildflower, a mix of yellow and green. Respawn Archer with one glowstone to resemble his little respawn thing. Bow, arrow, splash potion of harming to resemble his throwable thing. A white firework to resemble his dandelion. And Wildflower and TV head in the newest update. It's not really that new, but it's the newest because they stopped updating Neighborville. Have melee attacks. I was going to give them a wooden sword, but I gave him a stone to resemble how strong it is in Neighborville. Next, we're going to go over the zombies. 
We don't know he's useful because he has a bow. Imp, remember I'm ignoring the mech and such. Very cool armor. Potion of slowness for gravity grenade. Blue firework to resemble his imp kata. His imp baby kata in red to resemble his mech's explosion. Super brains. Netherite sword to resemble his fists. Potion of leaping to resemble his super high leaping. Swiftness to resemble his super kick. Gray for, I think, his uh, turbo twister. And this is his super ultra ball. Captain Deadbeard. Yes, very good armor. Netherite. Crossbow. Slowness, just like Cactus. Purple fireworks resemble his parrot's beam. A barrel, because why not? Potion leaping to resemble his anchor. Electric slide, very fancy armor. Bow, slowness to resemble her electricity powers. Blue to resemble also her electricity powers. Invisibility to resemble her electrical thing. Because there's no invincibility, I gave her invisibility. And potion of slowness. 80s action hero, very cool armor, crossbow, two red fireworks, space cadet, very cool armor once again, bow, two fireworks, one red, one gray, and then a jump boost, wizard, full diamond armor, crossbow, two purple fireworks, and a potion of healing, TV head, same exact thing as wildflower, except, uh, I don't want to say better armor, but different armor. Now we're going to move on to the tips and tricks. I'm really stressing out today after what my sister did and stuff like that. You know, YouTube stuff. So, <laughs> YouTube problems. So, I highly doubt we're going to get gameplay for this video. With that said, let's move on to the tips and tricks. As much as I want to give one for each character like I usually do, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I was gonna give three tips for each team, but I think I'm gonna give two, one tip for each character to make up for not having gameplay. Pea shooter, uh, just use your mobility to your advantage. Chomper, run in there, you know what to do. Sunflower, focus on your team. Cactus, stay behind, place traps and stuff. Citron, you can go rush your chomper. Colonel Corn. You can also go rush and stuff. Rose, pretty good offensive character. Acorn, use those fences, they're really good. <coughs> Nightcap, don't pick Nightcap. Snapdragon, use your Elytra and your Flint Steel to your advantage. Wildflower, use your Respawn Archer wisely because you only have one. Foot soldier, uh, you know, use that leaping potion. All star, put down your blocks, red concrete for your team. Scientist, use your five ender pearls wisely and take care of your team when it comes to health. Engineer, um, use your two potions because you can make them slow and boost ahead. So, um, imp, use your slowness and then firework. Super Brains, run in there. You're the only counter for Chomper. Captain Deadbeard, pretty good. I would say to keep him in the back outlines, but you could actually rush with your super good armor. Electric Slide, you can pretty much rush as well. Sneak Attack. I would say the same thing for Nightcap, but Nightcap's damage does nothing, so... <laughs> 80s action hero, use your two fireworks wisely. Space cadet, use the jump boost and then firework. Wizard, use that potion on your team when they're all together. And TV head, of course, same thing as wildflower. But use your melee when you're in trouble. This goes for both of them. More for the, uh, more for the TV head, though, because he has better armor. Because wildflower has gold. Which isn't that good. So, And a turtle shell. Like, come on. Anyway, this is pretty much... Oh, so this story takes you out. Nowhere. Into the oblivious. 
useful though for the workers. Anyway, this ends it for today's video. The next video should be out tomorrow or the day after, going over the winter update. I am totally 100% done with Arena today, because I've worked on it ever since I woke up. Hold on. <clears throat> Is it just me or every YouTube video weird stuff happens back there? Uh, yeah! Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.